There was once a young shepherd boy named Peter. His job was to look after a big flock of sheep for his village. Every day he would herd them out of their barn and up into the hills to eat the fresh green grass. Peter enjoyed his job, and he loved the sheep, but he was starting to get a little bored. One morning, Peter awoke as usual and herded the sheep up into the hills. The weather wasn't very nice, so Peter couldn't sunbathe. He'd finished his book, so he couldn't read that either. Feeling naughty, he had an idea to make the day a bit more interesting. He cupped his hands around his mouth and shouted down the hillside, "Wolf! Wolf! There's a wolf chasing the sheep!" The people of the village heard his screams, leaving their houses and their work to rush up the hillside. "Don't worry, Peter!" they shouted back. "We will help to chase it away." When they arrived at the top of the hill, they were confused to see Peter rolling around on the floor, not scared at all. He was laughing at them. There's no wolf at all. He giggled, but you all did look funny running up the hill. Don't cry, wolf, Peter said. The villagers angrily. You've wasted all our time today. They all went back down the hill to get back to work. Peter wasn't finished being bad, though. By midday, the sun still hadn't started shining, and Peter was still bored. He slyly cupped his hands to his mouth again. Wolf, wolf! He screamed. The sheep are scattering. The villagers heard his cries again, and all started back up the hill. They thought there was no way that Peter would trick them twice. He wouldn't be so rude and silly. They were very surprised when they reached the top of the hill, only to find Peter whooping on the ground again. How dare you, Peter! Said the villagers. You are taking advantage of our kind hearts. You can be sure we won't be up here to help you again. Peter just laughed some more. It was worth it to see their funny faces as they puffed and stumbled up the hill for a second time. He couldn't stop grinning at his own jokes as he watched the villagers go grumbling down the hill once more. As the afternoon wore on, the sheep began to nervously shuffle around. Peter could tell something was wrong. But he wasn't sure what it was. Then he saw a big, dark, hairy shadow on the edge of the hillside. It was prowling around the flock. A wolf, a real one this time. All of Peter's sheep began to run in different directions as the wolf pounced. Peter screamed and screamed and screamed. The villagers heard him once again, but just huffed and puffed to each other. Does he really think we'll fall for that again? They muttered as they carried on with their work. He's more stupid than we thought. At sunset, everyone waited to see the familiar sight of Peter herding the sheep back to their barn for the night. It got steadily darker, but Peter still hadn't returned. The villagers began to worry. What if there had been a wolf after all? An old man volunteered to go up the hillside to find Peter. He found him sitting on a rock with no sheep in sight. He was weeping into his hands. There really was a wolf. He sobbed. The flock has scattered. I'm so sorry. I pretended. If I hadn't, all the villagers would have come to help me. The old man sighed. "You've learned a valuable lesson today, Peter," he said. "If you lie about something, nobody will ever believe you again, even if you tell the truth." Peter understood that he had taken advantage of the villagers' kind nature. "I'm sure if you came back to the village to apologize, everyone will forgive you," said the old man. 
So Peter plucked up all his courage and did as the old man said, climbing down the hill and walking home shamefaced. The villagers were happy to see him home safe. We accept your apology, Peter, they said, and tomorrow we'll help you find the lost sheep on one condition, never cry wolf again.